Hey Zach, disappointing result for the team today. What are your thoughts on the game? Um, it was disappointing. Uh, I don't think anyone could argue that she probably deserved the victory in the end. Um, I think they're by far the best team we've faced this season. However, you know, we, we have got to be disappointed because they had some chances, they had some good chances, Tom's made some brilliant saves. Um, but in the end, the three goals we've given away are three mistakes. It was always going to be a difficult task coming to a team that are free scoring, yeah. top of the league. Um, I've got a really good team. Um, but you must be pleased in, in a way we still created opportunities. Yeah, we did create opportunities and, and you know it probably didn't help that we had to make an early change as well. We shuffled the pack a little bit, um, changed the game plan. However, as you say, chances were there, we didn't take them. Sheffield, as I say, had, had two or three very good chances which Tom kept them out. Um, and, and they scored three goals and you know it's, it's a game of, of who scores the most goals wins. Sheffield battered his second half in truth. Um, whereas I thought first half uh, we we had we could take a lot of positives out of the first half and we just never brought them into the second period. Yeah and another blow, obviously first half as you said, uh, Riff Atta looks like a suspected broken arm or broken wrist. That was obviously a disappointment to lose Riff first half. Yeah, well we've only had 90 minutes out of him so far because he's been away on holiday. Um, and, was to bring him back in today um, to look to push on. And unfortunately, it looks like that's going to sort of hamper the next few weeks for him now. So it's a disappointment on his part, it's a disappointment for us because I think he's, you know, he's a player that, that showed and, and he did last season that he played at this level. So he's got that experience and we'll lose that. But you know, it's an opportunity for somebody else to step up and, and, and take his place. And moving on from this weekend, we've got the Vars to look forward to next weekend with Gornal Athletic coming to the Ludlow Stadium. It's a good opportunity for the lads to uh, progress to the first round. Yeah, definitely, and I, th I think it would be good on the back of today's defeat. We've now got to step up and go again um, and wipe out any disappointment from today's game. So it's a good one to, to sort of get straight into. Um, and, you know, there's Gornal of the league below, so on paper it's, it's, it's probably a better tie than others. However, it's not going to be an easy one. Um, so we've got to be fully up for it next week. We've got to be at the races mentally um, and we've got to be better than what we were second off today. Thanks very much. Thank you.